also is not perfect. And in our part, I am talking about Hyderabad around, we have gone up to Punjab also to do some test studies and all that. And this is, we, it was an eye of the study for us. And uh, when I am talking about this umbilical cord study, which was done in American neonates, the kind of toxicity is that each patient, each child, it was about $20,000 was spent on one particular kid. And there were 180 ca uh, cancer causing chemicals which were found in the umbilical cord. You can still believe it, America has stopped the DDT production 40 years back and still DDT was there in the umbilical cord as well as the breast milk mass. Uh, so I'm just trying to I'm just trying to do a different kind of stuff. There is a thing which we are talking about is the chemicals. We have been exposed to chemicals. It's from your the, there are a number of ways chemical occurs. Interestingly, we are talking only about food, food, air, and water pollution. Now, this Tenenberg study, there was food, no food, no water. There was no external kind of thing. The child was in the womb. So I am just trying to caution you, we from the start itself, we have our cats full yet. We, we can certainly add more toxicity and get into problems. Uh, yes, the human body has got an amazing kind of uh, thing. The uh, only thing what I feel doctor is, uh, it, 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 there is no manual which has been uh, sent along with, the, with this machine. And there was no uh, that particular thing. And uh, somehow, what we feel, what we look into uh, when we look into toxicology is this particular toxins, plastics, and hydrocarbons and pesticides. There is no way of elimination out unless you induce it. Uh, when I am talking about air pollution causing lung cancer, I am I'm trying to focus on mostly few things which has been reported as trace, trace, and trace kind of stuff. I'm talking about arsenic, I'm talking about cadmium, I'm talking about mercury and nickel. Uh, in the day-to-day -day practice, it has become, it is a matter of relevance. I'll show you how. Uh, there is a concept for cancer villages in China. In the South China, there was a, uh, there is a places where uh, along with the, this uh, in the river and streams and lakes and all that, if you put a foot into the river, you are going to end up with having some uh, skin problems and all that. 18, 20 years old are getting the cancer which have, which are supposed to, when we normally, in the case of, we, we used to think when I did my medical graduation, I used to think it's a, a cancer is a disease of geriatrics, that particular thing. I, I just want to uh, do it fast. I, I, I want to, I want you to understand the kind of uh, situation in what we are facing here. There is a kind of, there is no kind of uh, respect which is given for the environmental safety, sir. There is a lot of things we are trying to work out in a place like uh, Nalgunda district where the kind of hexavalent chromium is thrown. It is even thrown in the water. You see the stream of water full of uh, hexavalent chromium. This kind of slide which I have shown, this is a, this happens in the place is Nama Chemlo. And uh, this kind of thing, we have shown into one of the international, uh, this one, the people were really astonished. This is definitely a zero site. The hexavalent chromium, you see the effects of chromium, hexavalent chromium, what we have did. This, all these five individuals, they are having something called nasal perforation. This is the most acute manifestation. And somehow, I am going to follow up these patients for another 10 or 15 years down the lane. I would like to see, because hexavalent chromium is a known car carcinogen. There was a study by Erin Brokovich, environmentalist. In the, I hope you should always do a Google and uh, type Edwin Brokovich, you will understand what exactly I am telling. When you, uh, the hexavalent chromium, which is causing a lot of cancers. Uh, so, it is not just, it is a mishandling of the hazard and toxic waste. Somehow, I feel cigarette smoking is the uh, cigarette kills. When we were children, we were not that aware the cigarette definitely kills or not. But this generation, they, they are smarter people. They know, yeah, cigarette kills. There are some other things they have to take care of that. So there is a lot of, uh, particularly in our part in India, uh, I'm talking about both the rural and the urban area, people are not aware, the kind of hazardous waste and all that. There are a lot of spills which are happening in this kind of scenarios. The, these are all chemicals. This is, I can always say, this is the kind of, uh, 
he, he, what have potential bombs basically. You just uh, you just see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, uh, what study we did. did I'm trying to uh, come to that. But we are trying to put across this particular thing. My uh, uh, we were involved with this kind of study in Punjab, Malwa district, and the way BARC was, was able to show the high levels of uranium in the water. There are again in Ma Malwa district. There are things called the, the villages are up for sale. The the situation is so bad there. The people uh, they they are they are, they, uh, they have become infertile. They don't have uh, kids. They uh, they have cancers very early in the age and all that. And it's it's a it's a big uh, social issue. Uh, we uh, we see uranium mining around this particular thing, and we we know about what is really. Uh, what surprised us when we were trying to work out with this, the, the thing is, there is a high levels of uranium and it is supposed to be in the new Nagarjun Sagar area. And Nagarjun Sagar area is a, a water supply, it supplies to most of the parts of the Hyderabad and other places and all that. And it is, madam, it is 20 times higher, the uranium level is from 20 times higher. Uh, to make you understand what are the limits of uranium levels, it is, uh, it is like, uh, uh, it's too, too far as such. And that particular thing can cause mutation and cause problems, basically. Uh, I'll, I'll keep uh, making fast. The main essence of my talk is, this is the, one of the non-genetic factors. I really appreciate the kind of work Yulubna and other people are doing, but I'm not able to understand. My forefathers were, they're not having disease. Why should I have disease? And they say, it's a familiar disease. I don't, uh, somehow, as a clinician, as well as a researcher, I don't feel this is the kind of thing. We are not destined. We are not destined to be a diabetic capital, something like that. There are, there are, there are some things which have changed, and it is the epigenetic factors. We cannot just tell all, everything is because genetic. It is epigenetic. Epigenetics is the environment pulls the trigger, and you have got a gene expression, you have got a predisposition, and you pick up. This is what exactly happens with arsenic. Arsenic can cause this kind of problems. And you know what is the level of arsenic in Hyderabad? Thanks to our uh, borewell water, I think uh, all of you are, may not be, your people are very young people here, but 30 years down the lane, we never used to have a bore water, ground water. Now we go 100 feet deep and all that and we can get water. We had tested the samples of at Hyderabad water for 30 different places. All uh, we found was 30 micrograms and more was the level at and the permissible level is uh, EPA has different standard, WHO has the different standard. It should not be more than two or three. <coughs> this can, this can, this is a potential. Uh, we are sitting on a disaster. Yeah, the, this is the what exactly I mean to say by metal burner is the whole water which we are using, which is ground water from tubers and all that. It is being used for the irrigation. So what are the plants and all that we are making, uh, the plants we are growing and all that, they just pull this cadmium. Well, I, I know about a place in Hyder, uh, EAP which is called Lenor and we know about this. Cadmium is used in the fertilizer which is called super phosphate fertilizer. It's used like a plenty kind of thing. Rice, now we look rice as cadmium. We are scared to touch rice here. This is the kind of things. And, uh, I just want to skip that because this timing is a big uh, issue. Uh, we need to understand what is periodic table. Why I am talking about talks, uh, heavy metals and things and all that. Periodic tables, uh, when we talk about when I was uh, a kid actually, I tried to learn about inorganic chemistry and all that. I, I just gone through things and all that. But this is really relevant now. All the transitional metals which have got higher valency, you have got higher atomic weight. You, I'll just give an example. You have got a good, uh, see all of us know we need calcium, magnesium, we need good zinc and all that. What is exactly happening in the ground level is different. Uh, you ha as somebody said, you have got a thallium or you have got cadmium. He has an identity card and he can enter into the cell taking as a calcium. And you displace the calcium and can displace the magnesium. And once that enters, see magnesium is such an essential element. It is required for more than 300 enzymatic reactions. And once this sits over that, all this comes for a screeching heart. And you can understand what is mitochondrial poisons and all that you know. 
once this mitochondrial pyrus goes into that and uh, we we are into it i would like all of you to look into this uh, thing called president cancer panel this is a 40 pages 240 pages report and we are talking about now we need to i'll go to my study what we have done as such we have done uh, it, we have checked out the hair samples sir, and we took nails nails and the hair samples from few cancer patients and from the cartoons uh, things as such and we were in the process of presenting and we are we, uh, we have already accessed toxicology international and we are going to have uh, this particular stuff and uh, we were astonished the kind of normal as well as uh, this particular thing we are able to find high levels and not just uh, in the hair hair is uh, this is what exactly and we are trying to work with the, we have to outsource uh, this kind of studies uh, to germany elonor is one of my friends she runs uh, microtrace minerals she is uh, work uh, she gives us uh, the kind of reports and all that because we have not happy with the reports what we get here there are a lot of contamination there are a lot of things and all that and uh, we are certainly we want to uh, that this what i just want to now focus more on what exactly is this breast cancer somehow uh, i somehow i don't feel uh, that we can be a sitting duck uh, one in eight and all that uh, still we have to do something for that and once uh, uh, yeah there's nothing uh, it's basically the inherent particulate exavalent chromium i have shown you that particular stuff and now i have all the peer reviewed journals and all that this is the pancreatic cancer association with cadmium which is the paper was presented by shamali pal and this is the harvard med school medical school uh, 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 paper and uh, they were able to isolate uh, cadmium from the this one so what i mean to say is this is the cadmium may be causing inducing the uh, gene, gene expression or is causing ox oxidative distress and this particular thing because cadmium has different uh, things as such it can uh, work on and we took the clue uh, from dr louis work which was metal uh, cadmium causing breast cancer and uh, there was a fantastic uh, paper which was there as such we started working on that and uh, we uh, just so uh, somebody was talking about that there was a can uh, sir i think you were talking about stem sir i'll just give you that uh, thing also uh, uh, this particular uh, high levels of this uh, metals and all that how it is causing uh, pero lipid peroxidation and it is causing uh, dna adducts and all that and to me that is the dna adducts which are the best particular thing and which is causing the problem i some i don't know uh, i am basically a, uh, i like to work with the, some of the things as such we have a network i have i i do lot of work with my other peers also and uh, some of i feel we when we worked on this kind of study we were exact we thought we and we are coming up with one more study which was done with some punjab punjab population again and we have picked up uh, 60 punjab healthy patients healthy people punjab is a epitome very hathi pite garwal but the thing is we have picked up those people and we have compared the hair and nail analysis from the european guys european i mean I, from germany people only we could uh, we had access and we were able to see there is 60 times more pollution toxicity in punjabi right now healthy people and we want to follow up that people because they are on a sitting on the edge something happens they get into a problem uh, i i somehow this is this is, i have got lot of uh, right also i can work on that but i just thought i'll show you the, this kind of thing which i feel people have to look into that otherwise uh, okay uh, law 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 lot of peer reviewed literature and all that and uh, some i felt ki nothing is being looked into this particular side although our patients are telling there is some pollution which is causing problem we need to look into the other avenues also i am talking about other avenues are basically uh, people uh, working on uh, 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 night shifts people working in the high intensity lights they are ge jeopardizing their melatonin levels we are doing up a study with dpos who do night shift to work uh, activity uh, workers basically and we are saying oh, after you work in dpo for 3 year you are at, you are you are getting into you are walking into diseases this is maybe probably one of the reasons i, I thought i'll just uh, uh, this i'll be i'll happy if i get some questions i hear i came here just to uh, show you this is a big problem 
which is lurking and uh, somewhere I go internationally, I talk there and uh, I try to show my data. They are really surprised. Germans, they cannot understand what is happening in India. They say you are an Indian, you live in Hyderabad, you live in Bombay, you have, they, they don't want to come here as a guest speaker. Uh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. I think, I don't know whether it's too late now to fix things, but I think that we have to know the root causes of what is happening. And me and my colleagues, uh, my friends who study here, we did our PhDs here, and we discuss over there when we see the regulations, type regulations of the toxic material disposal and everything. It's so tight over there. When I went there, uh, the regulation department, they we, first thing first he told me was that if you are pregnant, you have to come and tell me first before you tell your husband. Those kind of a tight regulations we have there and sometimes, you know, we uh, uh, discuss among us our friends, you know, like, my God, we must have got lots of mutations the way we used to work in India for our PhDs. So I guess the story is the institutions where the research is going on. I, I wanted to do Wait. this really very de desperately and me and my friends who, uh, who are now in uh, US, they are holding a faculty positions. Now that we know what the tight regulations are, we'll be happy to come here and discuss about yeah, this. Definitely ma'am, this is one of the, it's open secret. Here. I think we have there to stop no this. We cannot just increase this now anymore. Yeah. There yeah. is, they, people are not aware of this. Whether the government is not doing anything now. Sir? You are giving the open speech. Whether any reporter will not. Yeah, I have got. It's a open. I have not. My paper is not yet accepted in toxicology interaction. Okay. I can always give you the benefits of this. Is but a time to to the all all people yeah. of the Hyderabad or wherever this type of uh, water pollution is there. You know. Yeah. So I think it starts from the research institutions yes. because I think the way we are disposing yeah, we are, things. Exactly. That is really yeah. bad. I know, I can see the difference now that I'm in US. The way we used to work, we know, we always like make a fun, you know? Oh my God, we have so many mutations with the way. We are shocked, we are worried about the whole thing. People are still using aluminum vessels. They are not aware of that. Yes. Thank you.